Good morning, members of the teaching faculty. Good morning, gentlemen. I wonder if you remember, several months ago at the beginning of the year, I came up and had a sharing session with you all, and I asked if you could name some brands that are familiar to you, um, some brands that you use quite a bit. And we mentioned a brand of industrial lubricant called WD-40. And simply, we mentioned that WD st stood for water repellent, and we focused on the number 40. And if you remember, we mentioned that the scientists who developed WD-40, this industrial strength lubricant, originally for um, missiles, designed for missiles to um, keep the water out, to keep them from rusting, the, the scientists tried 39 times and it didn't work. And it didn't work until the 40th time they tried it. And then they were successful. So hence the name WD-40. Now, then, that was about nine months ago. And our lesson was that even if you fail 39 times, just get up 40 times, and then you might succeed. The Japanese also has a saying, if you fall down seven times, get up eight times. That was then. It was the beginning of the year. Everyone was hopeful. Everyone was determined. The challenges lied ahead. Now, fast forward to today. Some of the competitions are over. I know some of the big tests still lie ahead uh, this weekend. There are some big matches this weekend. But we're almost at the end of the school year. Um, there are only 22, 20 days left, not including today, 20 days left until the exams. I wonder what your state is. At the beginning of the year, it's easy to say, OK, let's fail 39 times and try 40 times. Now, at this stage, do you still feel the same? What if you're still struggling? What if I'm still struggling? What if I tried 41 times and it's still not working? If you've been successful, then congratulations to you. But if you've try kept trying and things haven't worked, or maybe you e don't even have the confidence to go for the second time or the third time, I'd like us to take a look at one small piece of item today. Um, I posted on the, on the PowerPoint. I have the letter with me. Uh, if you take a look on the surface of the, of the envelope, on the top left corner, on both letters, you'll see little pieces of paper attached to the, to the envelope. They are, of course, stamps. These are two special letters that I received through the years, and especially the one on the right side. I've kept it for 24 years. In the front, you, you see the three stamps addressed uh, to me when I was a student in the States. In the back, the initial of the sender, the, the, the address of the sender, A232 Wing Lung Road, Clearwater Bay, Sai Kung, Hong Kong. And the initial, SJL, Sydney James Low Kong. Back then, my headmaster. Before I received this letter, I wrote him a letter asking him what I needed to do, because I was lost and I was looking for direction and some ins inspiration and advice. He sent me this through this envelope, uh, a small booklet that he, a booklet, a book that he wrote and also inside a letter. I'll share with you the content later on a future day. But today I just want to focus on the little items on the surface of the envelope, these little stamps. Now, let's do a role play, or let's role play for a little bit. Imagine that you are that little piece of stamp. You're, now you get attached to the envelope, or a big box, or a cargo, or a parcel, that you're supposed to take this to the city, um, neighboring city, or across the ocean to another country. And you're just that piece of stamp. You might think, OK, if you were the stamp, you think, that's so far. That box of parcel is so big, or this part that I have to send um, to attach to an engine or something, a gift, this parcel or this, this cargo or this envelope is so heavy, how can I do it? I'm just a small piece of paper. Now, take a closer look at the stamp now. It's been blown up. You see some stripes on it. Um, that's part of a chop from the post office. Right? If you 
put the stamp on it, you throw it into the mailbox, the, mailbox, the letter gets collected to the post office. The post office puts the stamp on it. It has the full authority and the power of the post office. And everyone has to now support this letter. The postman has to bring it to the post office. The post office puts the stamp on it. It gets uh, sifted. It gets distributed into different slots. And then it takes a plane. The post office across the ocean in another country. The post office is responsible for taking this letter, giving it to maybe a postman, put it in the postal car, the, the, the van, take it to the town or the city and to that specific place, see it all the way through to the end. You see these stripes, very simple stripes here, but it has the date, it has the authority of the post office. And the letter, this small piece of stamp, has the full authority to take the letter all the way to the next country. In life, we're put in different offices. The headmaster, the president of the United States, the policeman, when they're appointed as policemen, by the power vested in them, they're able to write parking tickets, they're, they have the authority to arrest criminals. The President of the United States has special authorities that a normal citizen doesn't have. And just like that, we as children of God, as believers of God, we also have that stamp on us. It's almost like a spiritual tattoo stamped on us, that when we feel that we're small, when we feel that we cannot finish the task, there is a spiritual backing there. Now, it's not easy for DBS boys to understand. For us, from the very first day, we've been trained to do our utmost, give our utmost effort and hard work, uh, use our own effort to try to see things through, or we work with our teammates. But what if the task is too big? What if the challenge is too big? What is the difficulty in front of us is too big. We need to understand that there is a greater power, the power that this school is built upon, the higher power that looks after us, that knows us personally, and God's strength and His grace, like a spiritual tattoo, the mark is on you, like a stamp or the chop on the stamp. It has the full authority to see you through to the destination. Now, like I said before, if you've been successful so far, then congratulations to you. But you've come, if, if you have come across roadblocks, if you have come across challenges and difficulties that you feel that are unsurmountable, you, please understand that there is grace and there is a special strength behind you to see you through. The Lord says, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. May the Lord's grace strengthen you, and may his strength make perfect in your weakness, and may he strengthen you in the days ahead. Thank you.